Okay, so these are my favorite tricks for supporting the nine times table. The first one is fairly easy, in fact, they're all fairly easy, but the first one is when you write them down, the ones column goes down in numbers. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Then it repeats nine, eight, seven, six, and it'll keep doing that for as long as you keep writing down the times tables, whereas the tens column does the opposite. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, etc. So that's the first thing if you're practicing the nine times table that you can notice. The second thing to notice is that when you add the numbers together in the nine times table, they all add to make nine. So the first answer is nine, fair enough. One plus eight for 18 equals nine. Next one's 27, two plus seven equals nine. Next one's 36, three plus six equals nine, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's another really easy one. That one's more when I think I know the answer, but I'm not sure. So I think three times nine is, let's say three times nine is 26. Three times nine equals 26. Let's just check that. Two plus six equals eight. So I must be wrong. So hang on, let's try again. Let's try, um, I can't remember what I just said. Three times nine equals 27. Two plus seven equals nine so yep i'm right so that's more for checking your answers are right and then okay and then this one sorry is if i'm not confident yet with my nine times table but i know my ten times table what i can do is one times nine sorry one times ten is ten and then if i take off one so that i've got so hang on let me explain this again one times 10 is 10. If I take off this number here, I'm left with nine. So take my answer and minus one equals nine. If I try two times 10, oops, my brain's working quicker than my fingers. Two times 10 equals 20. 20 minus this number here equals 18. Two times nine is 18. Let's try another one just for good measure. Uh, three times 10 equals 30. 30 minus this number here equals 27. And three times nine is 27. And the reason that that works is because um, nine times three is the same as 10 times three, take away one lot of three. Okay, and then the final one, this is my favorite one. I'm just gonna stop sharing my screen to show you. Okay, the final one that I'm going to show you is this. If I ask you um, three times nine, looking at it, your side, I'd put down my third finger um, and then I would actually, for you, for the purpose of this, I'm going to work backwards. So this is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But normally I'd say this is my third finger because it's, I'd read left to right, but for you reading left, to write, I think is going to make that the third finger. Hang on, let's do it this way. Put down my third third finger. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so what I'll do is 10, 20, stop. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Seven times, sorry, uh, three times nine is 27. Let's try another one. If I put down my seventh finger, so seven times nine is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, stop. 61, 62, 63. Seven times nine is 63. Let's try another one. Let's try six times nine. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Stop at number six. 51, 52, 53, 54. And it works for all of them. It is so clever. A child I was working with a few years ago taught me that. But it's such an easy way of doing the nine times table. And at the end of a lesson, you can if you've been working on this and the kid hasn't known it before and they can like come out the lesson, mom, look, I know the nine times table. Ask me any question. And the mum goes, okay. Or parent goes, okay, what's eight times nine? And the child goes, okay, eight. Put my eighth finger down, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, stop, 71, 72. Eight times nine is 72. And they get it right every time. And the parents go, wow, that's amazing. And it is amazing, but it's also so, so simple. So that's my favorite one. Have a really great afternoon, whatever you're doing. And I hope you like those four ideas and I hope you like the resources here in this email. I'll see you next month.